I've built 19 model aeroplanes from cardboard and wood and I've engined each one with the rocket motor from a firework which has had the explosive charge at the end of its trajectory disabled. Some are simple profile models like this North American F-86 Sabre or this Russian MiG-17. Some of them are semi-profile models like this Supermarine Swift which is accurate in profile and when seen from above or below but not when seen from in front. With a couple of them I've been more ambitious and I've built a profile fuselage, this is a Blackburn Buccaneer but I've added the side scoops. The same goes for this McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom or this Hawker Sea Harrier. It's a profile fuselage but it's got its air scoops. This, the English Electric Lightning, is the only one with not one but two rocket motors. Given the potentially dangerous nature of their motors, I don't fancy hand launching any of these homemade creations. So to get round that problem, I've built myself a launch gantry. This has twin rails, which I can set at various heights. Here, a de Havilland Vampire sits prepared to be launched at a very, very steep angle. Whereas a heavier aircraft, like this biplane, will probably only take off if it's launched nearer the horizontal. First thing I usually do is cut the paper like that and that. Fill that off. With the paper off, you can remove the nose cone and carefully just cut through the glue which is holding the stick to the rocket. Once you've got the stick off, you need to disable the explosive charge at the front. Up to about here is propellant, and then there's a separate chamber, and in here there are loads of pellets of powder containing other elements such as strontium, charcoal. And the purpose of those is to give a brightly coloured explosion at the end of the rocket's trajectory. Now, we don't want that. So, I'm removing this paper from the front and once I've done that I can open it out a bit and tip the explosive charge out of the rocket. Then all I have to do is cut it just in front of the dividing bulkhead from the firework rocket to rocket motor.